Peter Dolapena with USA women's players Anika Galan and Disha Dingra after a 79-run victory over Argentina on day one of the 2023 ICC America's Women's T20 World Cup qualifier. Congratulations on the victory, first off. And you two shared a century partnership together for the second wicket, Unbroken Sand, and you both scored your maiden T20I half centuries at senior level for USA. First off, we'll start with you, Disha, you top scored the match for USA. How did it feel? batting out there in an international match after all the times you've played out here in national championships and domestic tournaments? It felt really good. We all had our plans going out there and I think we stuck to them really well. And Anika, for you bringing up your maiden half century, what was it like batting out there, especially in partnership with Disha? Yeah, it was really just an honor to be out there batting with Disha. Um, something we talked about in our team plans was building a partnership, and I think that's exactly what me and Disha did, and I'm glad that we got to contribute such a big score to the team and, of course, end up in a victory for USA. One of the things that was a, a discussion point going back to your last international action in, in the World Cup in South Africa at an energy level, the running between the wickets. There were a lot of issues with that, a lot of runouts, a lot of confusion at, at times. It seemed a lot different today. It seems like you were a lot more cohesive, a lot more in sync, a lot better in your own chemistry between the two of you individually at judging runs. How much practice has gone into that since the World Cup to be able to have a better understanding and more efficiency running between the wickets together? Um, well, I think that just talking and communication is such a key thing in running team wickets. Um, I'm so glad that we got to recover from that and Dish and I are actually roommates so maybe that explains the chemistry, I'm not too sure, but I think we did really good running between the wickets and it's just going to get better from here. Just for you, same question, for you as somebody again who, like a lot of players on, on tour, both last September with the senior team and then again at the World Cup, there are a lot of struggles with running between the wickets and runouts. So, and you know that more than, more than anybody. Um, so coming off of that, being able to, to bat as efficiently as you did today individually and in partnership, what went into that from your perspective? Uh, like Anika said, I think it's all about communication. Uh, getting to know who you're batting with better helps us run between the wickets a lot better. So I think that has something to do with how we ran today. And just in terms of the preparation, you've had more than a week out here to get accustomed to the current conditions anyway, leading up to this event. What was the most beneficial part of that experience leading up to today for you? Um, well, I think just um, when you're when you're going to be a new team together, I think the gel and the chemistry that you have together, getting to understand each other, it won't be so new when you're out there on the field. So I think just getting to bond so much with this new team, um, I really think that helped our plans and our preparation, our discipline. This year, you teamed up with Chetna Reddy Pagadala for a run out today. It was it was her debut as a 15 year old. Both of you have gone through that experience making debuts as teenagers, but again, to have somebody with as much energy to match the level of talent that Chaitna has, what did you observe, Tisha, from, from her, Jay, that impressed you on, on her debut? Um, she has such a strong head on her shoulder, and she shows zero emotion when she's out there, which is a good thing. So I think that just helps her throughout in the whole game. So. Anika, to go along with the half century, you had four catches in the field. As somebody who's typically wearing the gloves as a wicket keeper, you're not doing that with a Sindhu in the same team, but to be able to operate it as strongly as you did in, as an outfielder, especially in a variety of positions, you were in the outside and, and on the leg side at mid wicket. Uh, so wherever you were, you were making an impact. If you can talk about just the differences in adjusting to keeping wicket for most of the time that you're playing cricket versus now when you come into a USA squad setup and you have to adapt to a different role, what goes into that for you to prepare to be able to succeed the way you did in the field today? Yeah, well, I think adaptability is such a key thing and a lot of players on the team really pride ourselves on doing that. So I think having that like factor um, really helped. And also with the wicket keeping, I think wicket keeping really helped me with my fielding. Um, I just kind of use the same basics. Some people say that I feel like a wicket keeper too. I catch like a keeper. So, I mean, I'll take it if at least four catches. But um, just learning under sins and being in those different roles that she puts me in and trusts me in, it's just really great.
Anything else either one of you wants to say about today's performance as a team or the mindset now going into match day two against Brazil tomorrow? Yeah, I think it was a really great start to the tournament. Um, we have five more games, and I think this was a really good start, um, and we'll just go onwards and upwards from here. Yeah, I think we're just going to take this momentum into the rest of our games and keep up the intensity that we had today. All right, USA Women's players, Disha Dingra and Anika Golan, congratulations again. A 79-run victory.